needed some uh, queen candy and as it turned out I've just run out. So what do I need? I need some uh, icing sugar. There you go, bag of icing sugar. I need a bowl, a fork, and some invert sugar syrup. Where do I get that from? I made that. I made it using a recipe for queen candy that I stole off the internet, borrowed, used, and I'll share it with you. Uh, I'll just flash up a picture. You can take a, a screenshot of it and uh, you can use it if you want to. Uh, it's not my recipe, but it works really well. I've, I made this last year. It's been stored in this bottle over the winter time. When I went to get it out an hour or two ago, it had crystallized and solidified but I just uh, put it in some hot water, warmed it up, and it's back ready to go again. Now this process of making the sugar candy is quite time consuming because you have to mix it so well and knead it lots. Obviously I'm not going to show you 15 minutes of me kneading some sugar candy, so what I'll do is I'll simply zoom in into this bowl, show you, putting, show you me putting the ingredients in, and then uh, cut to what it looks like when it's finished. The trick is that you have to knead it and knead it and knead it and you have to get the consistency right. You don't want it too wet because it gets, stays sticky and uh, and the bees get, get it all over them and get caked in it. You don't want it too dry because it goes brittle so, so there's a bit of an art in getting the consistency right and it's just trial and error. Uh, you, you'll get the feel for it. If it when, when you're kneading it, if you squeeze it and you get uh, some of the syrup coming to the surface, it's still too wet. I'm going to mix a fair bit of this because I will be using this as the season goes by. If I put too much of this in, I can always add some more icing sugar. 